I fucking live for these nights. No Sheila around to tell me, Let's go to bed, Nathan. <laughs> or fucking nag me even worse. Stop doing it. These are the nights I live for. The fucking base station ready to go. Got my laptop up. Do some work before that. But the best part. Snack night. Fucking chicken and barbecue sauce. Freshly cooked, uh, freshly oven baked crispy chicken. Oh my god. Barbecue sauce, oh my god. It's a fucking chocolate bar there, a boost bar. Some kettle chips. Some rather healthy drinks, but tasty. Nevertheless, this is my snack night. I'm not going to pig out in all of it, but I think I'll have that snack bar in the morning. Have some a bit of chips. Not both of them, just a bit. Later, have some chicken now. And even that's rather healthy because it's a low-fat crispy chicken. So it's this is a rather healthy snack meal. But you've got to you've got to, you've got to be good to your body, be friendly to your body. That is, you've got to be friendly to yourself. You got to have these nights. But you just pick out once a week or once a fortnight. Oh my god, these are the nights I live for. Being single is the fucking smartest thing I've done in my life. In the last six years, my happiness has gone from 3.5 to about 6.87. And everybody knows how generally stern I used to be, and I still am. I'm one stern, hard motherfucker, especially on myself. So to go from about a generally 3.5, you know, which was like from 2016 all the way back to 2000, to go from a generally 3.5, which isn't sad, but not quite acceptable, not quite happy. To go from 3.5 to about 6.87 is like, wow. And keep in mind, I have the very highest standards with giving scores. So I've doubled happiness, and I, I pin it all to being single. So what's interesting is that the moment I became single, which was with Diana, my last girlfriend, I still saw two girls after that, but I was, it wasn't a relationship. So at the moment I became single in 2013, and then you know, saw girls until about 2016, 2017, and then decided to go full single, my happiness just went skyrocketed. Now these are the best nights. You don't have to fucking feel lonely. Fucking for six years I've been like this and I've never felt less lonely. You've got video calling, people to call. If fuck you get bored every now and again you can invite a friend. Fuck if you if it's that bad you can invite an old girl, mate. <laughs> I'm bad. But fuck, you don't have to ruin your life and be in a relationship. These are the best nights.